It's over, Johnny. It's over! Eric the actor, you're on the air. Hello? Ah. Uh, you know who Eric sounds like today? The Pope. The Pope tried to make a speech on uh, Easter Sunday. Yeah, the Pope, that's hilarious. Well, <laughs> I feel bad for the dude. I mean, but really... But who made I, the decision to even have him try to do that? I think that's his thing. Well, listen to this. This is this is what the Pope sounded like on Sunday. I'm not making a. Uh, I'm not making this up. This is what he sounded like. <laughs> you know. And by the way, yeah, that's the Pope. I I, I swear I'm not making a joke, but. Uh, Catholic people love it because they love to watch suffering. Oh, yeah. This is what it's about. Jesus suffered. Now the Pope is suffering, and, and it's, it's you know, it's like, all right, the Pope is suffering for us. Yeah, the Pope's suffering. They could use that to make other people feel guilty. Young people feel guilty. Wouldn't you want to retire at this point? I think so. Yeah. Go out, go in the countryside. Yeah, just relax. Yeah. Eric, what can I do for you? Well, I was just calling because the fact that the episode of American Dreams that I'm on is airing this Wednesday night. All right, everybody watch Eric the Midget. I mean, Eric the Actor. Yeah. On American Dreams this week. His episode is airing. Daphne Zanuga. That's my girlfriend. She's high and iron. Yeah, American Dreams. Uh, have you guys been watching the episode? No. Safe to say no. Like the rest of the country, no. <laughs> Pretty much everyone in the world isn't watching that, Eric. <laughs> That's why they had you on. Yeah, for this conversation we're having right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you guys going to air any of the footage on E? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want E to get bad ratings, too. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I know we shot it, so probably we will. Well, I know when I mentioned to uh, Mr. Prince that you guys were, had didn't have any plans of showing it, he sounded kind of disappointed. Yeah. That, well, he it, his plan backfired. He figured he'd put you in American Dreams, and then we would just, I guess, spend every day and every minute talking about it. Right. You know, which well, we, we, I think we gave it a lot of attention. Oh, my God, yeah, an hour that one yeah. day. It's a really great show. Mm. All right. I hope that... Thank you. Sticks with it. All right, Eric, thank you. <laughs> oh, also a couple weeks ago, it was my birthday. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. How old are you? 30 now. 30. All right, Eric. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Can't believe I missed his birthday. Again. Yeah, really. I'd also like to throw a shout out to the guy at the diner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eric, later. All right. You want to hear Eric the Midget as gay bondage? No. <laughs> Let me play this for you. <laughs> I bet it's more entertaining than your American Dreams episode. <laughs> Here's Eric the Midget if he was to star in gay bondage. Rules are I'm in charge, you're mine now. Understand that? Yeah. Do you understand that? Yes. I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have some fun with you. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's right. Whose boy are you now, huh? I'm not answering that question. That's right. You're my boy, aren't you? Yeah. You like that? Yes. Huh? Knock it off. Yeah, that's a choke on it. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. So use your f teeth. I said suck my f I didn't say chew on it, right? Yes. Yeah, do it right. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Okay. What do you think? Eric? I don't like that at all. You don't like that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, this one. Here's another one. I don't even remember what this is. Eric the Midget Falls. Want to hear Eric the Midget Falls? Eric? Oh, no, not, not really. Let's listen to it anyway. <laughs> I've got to get this fax out to Jonathan Prince. Get up on this stool here. Uh, 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 ah! All right. <laughs> the 
was not even me. No, that wasn't you. Right. It's an imposter. It's an imposter. <laughs> what is this? Eric the Midget demanding something on his voicemail. I don't even remember what this is. Those are always good. All right. Oh, about the interview, I think. Hi, this is Eric. I was just leaving this message because I want to make a request of what I'd like to have the, the interview here this week or next, whenever it's going to be, and what I don't want to have in it. Number one that I don't want to have in it is any toilet humor <laughs> out of you, Howard. I do not want to hear you ask me any questions like the fact that I met three of the female cast members. I do not want to hear you say, ooh, so did you go home and pleasure yourself thinking about them? It's, you know what? I do not want to have them hear you ask me that question. They're going to be listening to this. I want you to take this interview a whole lot more serious than any other phone call you would take from me in the past. The, the whole cast and crew, they no longer be calling, they know that, you know, I'm going to be doing this with you, and I'm going to be listening, and... He could put anyone to sleep. Oh, my God. I don't want any toilet humor out of you, Howard. <laughs> Eric, who are you to tell me what I, what you want? Uh, I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on with your sex life, anything? No. Have you kissed a girl yet? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Hey, Eric, I got to go anyway. Uh, I'll be calling back Thursday to check in to see if you guys watch. <laughs> all right. We'll check it out. We have a homework assignment now.